uh, in between your thumb and index uh, while checking that so which means uh, if the uh, it is uh, it is the one uh, one of the way to detect the uh, water content in the layer here uh, you have to very keen about this thing or if you miss that tandu bhaga if it is more your layer here will be more uh, hard and uh it won't be semi solid if it is very uh, before the tandu bhaga if you are adding something um it will be very watery and the layer will uh, definitely will get uh, spoil within 6 month or 5 uh, months so you have to keen about uh, while checking this bhaga and uh, you have to uh, reduce this a kashaya with jagari and we are reducing that's all till now that's all happened now and uh, the ingredients we are not adding in it till now after getting tandu bhaga only we have to add the uh, prakshaya dravya just check it i will show you now the water content is more you can't see the tandu bhaga little bit you can see but it is it will be break is it clear now can you see or you can understand that the tandu bhaga and everything yes doctor yeah now the tandu bhaga is not attained i will show you again the little bit uh, concern now you can see the tandu but it is breaking so we can't consider it is tandu bhaga but it is breaking in between thumb and index so continue boiling and uh, now you can see the tandu bhaga i will show you now the um, that the consistency is a little bit more and it is very hot in nature now so now you can see the tandu it is not breaking when it is reaches the tandu now it is not breaking if you separate uh, widely definitely it will uh, break so not like that you have to check like this uh, when it is reaches the tandu bhaga you have to switch off switch off the uh, gas uh, that is a very important one if you not switch off the uh, gas or uh, if you not reduce the temperature of the uh, stove or uh, whatever it is oven uh, definitely the bhaga will uh, differ so uh, yeah. after that only we are adding the ingredients so this is the harita ki i already showed you uh, that has to be make very fine powder this is the 5 kg of harita ki and uh, switch of the uh, gas and you have to add very slowly the way of mixing also you have to note if you are not mixing properly uh, there will be Uh, some uh, mass will be there solid mass uh, uh, one thing you have to take care the haridagi always uh, get solidified very easily if you uh, powder the haridagi and keep it open definitely within 3 uh, to 4 hours it will become solidified it will uh, absorb easily in the atmospheric uh, humidity so uh, you have to add little bit detail and uh, the same way you have to mix properly this is the way of uh, mixing uh, like to and fro and sometimes you have to mix uh, in a uh, circular motion or uh, anti clockwork motion and i added the haridaki fully and the it will become very thick and uh, i mix it everything the haridagi part is over and uh, the balance is prakshaya dravya when the haridagi is fully uh, merge in that after that only you have to add the prakshaya dravya you have to spread while putting the prakshaya dravya evenly you have to spread and 
after seeing this uh, video, definitely you have to try at least uh, two or three kg. It's very easily, and uh, uh, the time should not it won't consume like this. And uh, actually, I am made. I made a capsule work. It's a capsule work only. After seeing this, you have to. Uh, you will get a, a good idea. While more than this. And after uh, mixing the prakshaya uh, bhadrabya, it is allowed to cool. And the uh, the last ingredient is honey. Uh, I am not adding uh, honey uh, in the when it is uh, hot. And always I will give uh, one day usually. And the, on the very next day, after uh, when the temperature is uh, come down. Uh, I added honey. Uh, I added two point five liters of honey in it. Mostly, I don't know uh, the mostly uh, the commercial company are they are not adding honey this much uh, for twenty four kg. They are uh, in 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 this formula. We have to add two point five liters of honey. But uh, we, here I am adding the exact value. Definitely, the if you are tasting this hari degi, if you are making your own, it will very uh, different. That will be very good in nature, and when compared to the uh, product which is available in the market. So, if you are tasted this uh, dashmala hari degi, uh, it is having the uh, lekhana in nature. So that's why it is used in um, reducing the fat uh, in this uh, way. So uh, while doing the um, while preparing uh, hari degi, you will get uh, the how it is uh, how it will act. Also, you you will understand with the smell uh, and the order uh, taste. Uh, you can understand uh, more than uh, which is said in the Falasruti, and how guru, how lagu it is, uh, you will understand well. So, and on the next day only, I am um, adding honey. So, and after adding this honey, you have to mix thoroughly. And leha preparation is over. So here you can understand. Now uh, it is not breaking, and you will get the like uh, we we are seeing in the ad dairy milk and uh, Cadbury like this. The same way you can see this. Mm, this is the correct part of lehia. Uh, definitely, it should not break and it should not overflow, and uh, uh, the consistency is very uh, correct. Now, this will be the paga of Lehia. Okay, I think we finished our uh, products now, and. Uh, uh, I will show you uh, one more thing uh, how to make a dhanyamla. And uh, one of the dhanyamla, um, now here the available the market, if you are making your own, you will never purchase from the market. Because uh, usually every uh, uh, people will say dhanyamla is very. Uh, um, uh, some defective order or uh, the order is very bad uh, the smell we can't uh, bear that the smell like that not like that if you are making it is very sweet smell and uh, it is like uh, if you uh, smell it uh, definitely you will love that much of uh, very pleasant it is so i will show you uh, how danyamla is making very uh, easy way uh, but you have to take care uh, I will show you the video clip to you. Yeah, 
here the dhanyamla uh, flat and rice was avel uh, in south india we are called or uh, avel or pohe it is available available in the market 750 gram and kulatta uh, 750 gram lemon 1 kg uh, jeeraka 600 gram shastikashali or nyavarari uh, 750 Uh, puffed rice or uh, we are called malar uh, 2 liters uh, here the shundi 500 gram so if you see <coughs> actually it is a uh, we have to ferment uh, it is a fermented one so that's why if it is not fermented well there will be bad odor if it is fermented uh, in a right manner there will be a good smell like uh, arista um, uh, like that some arista is uh, when the that combination or uh, the paga if the paga also very if uh, in a wrong way definitely it is a rotten smell will be you will get the rotten smell and uh, if it is in a uh, good way uh, you will get a very sweet and pleasant smell so uh, definitely if you just try it out in your uh, um, clinic or uh, hospital you will never buy from the outside and this give you the exact result actually uh, there is so many cases are we are doing here um, that uh, what um, uh, the neurological disorder um, and peripheral neuropathy diabetic neuropathy this is the it will act like amrit so we can go to video if you are explaining that the time will consume more this is the ingredient uh, it is comes uh, just bottom of the screen the uh, lemon has to be um, cut it and chopped like this and uh, here the kolata shunti jeera lemon uh, masala Fla- uh, puffed rice and this is the shastika shali and this is the um, flat and rice so no need to take this much actually uh, you will get uh, uh, 500 liters of or 200 up to 200 liters of um, output from this this much of ingredient uh, no need to uh, make uh, or take this much uh, quantity of ingredients you have to take uh, one cup each and actually you can uh, uh, tie in a single potly here uh, the batch size is very large that's why uh, i am i made two potly here that is a cotton cloth and you have to mix the ingredients and uh, if it is a 50 li- 50 liter batch you can make it is in a single potly and this is also you have to tie very loosely or it has to be boil in the water and uh, uh, the flat and rice and the uh, uh, puffed rice it will enlarge when it is contacted with uh, when it is started to boil definitely it will boil it will enlarge so should not tie in a tightly the key uh, the potly should be uh, very uh, loose the remaining uh, ingredients has to be make a different potly anybody anyone doctors are making uh, dhanyamla there hello participants if anyone is making please transform so uh, and uh, while boiling that kiri you should not touch the bottom of the uh, vessel it should not touch if it is touch uh, there is chance of tearing that uh, uh, potly so this is the flat and rice and puffed rice
and this theory has to be made like this and uh, in the remaining uh, lemon i put it in a bag a cotton bag so uh, the cotton uh, cloth should not be very tight and uh, it should be a little bit uh, loose then only the extract inside the uh, portly will come out so here the way you have to put like this and uh, it's like a dola indra and it should not touch the bottom of the um vessel it should be suspended so uh, it is for uh, 200 liter dhanyamra so uh, i think better to make a, a 50 liter batch so it should be suspended and you have to boil uh, up to 3 4 or 1 week uh, you have to boil uh, from 6 uh, hour or 8 hour per day and after that you have to uh, keep it closed and the next day again you have to boil uh 5 to 6 hours and then the uh, third day you you can uh, third third or fourth day you can boil up to 3 uh, 3 3 or 4 uh, hours only uh, and when it is uh, while boiling you will get the good smell um and uh, you can use this um dhanyamla after 5 5 or 6 days within 5 days it will get fermented uh, and the starch mostly the starch ingredients are uh, here um, in the dhanyamla so when the starch comes out so the color of the um, uh, liquid will be changed that that means uh, the extract uh, extract is coming out and after that um, it will get a uh, ferment Uh, within uh, after uh, four or fifth day uh, it is started to ferment and when it is fer uh, and each and every day you have to uh, slightly move that uh, uh, kiri so the the extract which is inside that uh, come easily and uh, each of the day you have to uh, keep like this you have to uh, at the when you when you switched off the gas Uh, you have to tie tie like this or otherwise definitely it will attract some flies and uh, uh, some insects so definitely it will come and uh, it will lay eggs on it so uh, after one or three week you can see some uh, worms in it so to avoid that you have to uh, keep it closer like this now after seventh day or uh, sixth day Uh, you can uh, take out that dhanyamla and you have to keep it uh, in an airtight vessel each and every thing you have to uh, wash your hands thoroughly or otherwise uh, sometimes if it is uh, our hands are not uh, um, uh, cleaned well definitely it will spoil easily see uh yeah uh filtering out and uh, you have to keep i am i kept uh, that uh, container and you can you have to add preservative in it and this is 100 liter barrel uh, it's a 50 liter barrel i got uh to up to 200 liter and if you are uh, taking little bit uh, dhanyamla and uh, again you can add uh, more water and boil uh, when the extraction is uh, over with that potly you can reduce it this is the way i made a uh, vessel and you should should not uh, put vessel inside that uh, 
Sanyamla uh, container. Uh, if you are uh, open it up again and again, there is chance of um, spoil. So I made a uh, tap in it, and you can easily dispense. You have to keep like this, or otherwise I you uh, I didn't I know uh, I I don't know how it is spoiling again and again. After that, I make a uh, tap like this. After that, it should not spoiling like. And uh, one more thing, uh, I will show you. Uh, anybody doing dhanyamla there? I already asked you, but no one is responding that. No, no. If you have, if you are doing, just uh, share uh, your opinion and everything. And this is the one of the best way you can make. And uh, I will show you the, how the Brahmi Grida. Here the Demi uh, two kg Brahmi and you have to take four liters of juice and this is the Kalkadrivia. You have to make very fine powder and two liters of Grida and four liters of Brahmi juice. We have to add, this is a Brahmi juice, Brahmi sarsa, and this is the Kalka. So keep, continue boiling. The same way I told uh, that we saw that in the Ganta Grida, the same way you have to do Baga and Tisamrutu Baga. So you can already, I told you that you can separate the, uh, you can see separately Kalka from the uh, Swarasa. The Kalka is sticking on the spatula. That means Mrutu Baga and uh, when it is Madhyama Bhaga, it will divide from the spatula, the Kalka. Process continues. Now you can see the Kalka is not sticking on the spatula. See when it is uh, tilted. It will uh, divide from the spatula, and uh, this madhyama paga is attained. See, you can see that uh, the tight and uh, like wax-like uh, structure. Uh, it will give the impression on the uh, kalka. See, like this. Uh, it won't be like this uh, in the previous paga on like Mrudu uh, or something, you can't find that. This is a very hard thing. And it is filtered. Now you can see uh, that filter, uh, it's working very nicely. Without uh, other manpower, we can filter it very easily. That's all. Thank, Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> yeah, tell me. the you, Doctor. Yeah, I think it's over. Uh, I explained it in a very easy way and everybody should understand very well. And uh, if you have if you are not uh, understand or uh, if you have any doubt in between you can ask me uh, you can ask me at any time uh, so many uh, uh, participants are not uh, attending uh, now so when, when 
when they are seeing that uh, video still they are having doubt uh, you can send messages or you can call me directly and uh, i will uh, solve that uh, your doubts whatever it is um okay doctor it was a it was a very wonderful session okay uh actually doctor's number is added to the group ma'am okay uh, rashan shastri mr i was asking okay ma'am okay doctor i will take the questions from the chat box okay yeah. sir how to preserve the pagas mm, especially milk preparation for saubhagya shundi paga ചേ <laughs> so uh, i don't know how to preserve paga actually it was uh, it, this question was asked and then you are we are showing dashmula hari rigi lekhya that i noted okay yeah uh, yeah uh, usually vataka vataka also a lekhya uh in vataka usually uh, that tantu paga uh, we uh, saw only a single string that is tantu uh, in the vataka form uh, you can see two or three uh, tandus in between your fingers so at that time uh, that is the paga of uh, vatakas so uh, the product will be very tight and and uh, you will get the granule form and uh, if we uh, I can't understand the